first thing I do in the morning is coffee. Gotta have coffee, so. I actually ordered this um, Keto Bomb Vanilla Coffee Creamer off of Amazon. Very good. Um, it is, this is French Vanilla Latte flavor. This has um, like 10 grams of fat, 110 calories for a scoop. It also has sodium, potassium, and magnesium, and calcium, which are things that are very important to get in your diet on uh, when you're doing keto. Um, those things can become deficient very easily, so you want to make sure you get those in. Also, put a little heavy whipping cream to make it nice and creamy. I love this stuff. It's like my um, favorite keto food. <laughs> yeah, that sounds weird, but it's a good one. This stuff adds a lot of fat, and it's just heavy whipping cream. It's just delicious. This has 5 grams of fat for a tablespoon, so we're at, so we can get up to 20, 25 grams of fat first thing in the morning in your coffee so pretty good so anyway I'm gonna go make my coffee and then do some work on my computer and then I'll get ready for my day hope you enjoy this video um, and let's get our day started set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain and I can't control I want more of you Hey guys, so I should probably tell you a little bit about what the ketogenic diet is. What is keto? What is all the hype about with keto? Ketogenic diet is a very high fat, um, low carb, moderate protein um, diet. 75 to 80% from, uh, your calories come from fat. Um, about 20% come from protein and only 5% of your calories come from carbs. Well, I eat 20 grams of carbs, net carbs per day, 88 grams of protein, and I think it's like close to 150 grams of fat a day. Um, so very, very small amount of carbs, very high fat diet, moderate protein. These macros are very important in the keto diet. It's very important to stay, um, to make sure your macros are on point. And that is why a lot of people struggle with this diet, um, is meeting their macros every day and figuring out how to get um, lower moderate protein um, while raising their, their fats up. And it's just balancing everything. It's a little tricky at first. What the keto diet does for your body um, is essentially eliminates all the glucose in your body. Um, or the carbs so your body is forced to use its fat as its fuel instead of its glucose normally your body uses um, its primary source of energy is the glucose or the carbs so when you eat um, carbs the glucose is stored and your body uses that as energy but when you are on the keto diet you deplete your body all of all the carbs all the glucose so your body is forced to go to the fat so when you go into ketosis your body releases ketones in the blood which your body uses for energy um, it takes it could take up to two sometimes three weeks to get your body fully adapted to fat burning mode and once you are in ketosis to go back to glucose or carb fueling, it's very easy to go back and forth between burning a little carbs and going back to um, ketosis and fat adaption, which is really cool to be able to just kind of switch back and forth. So that's a cool um, benefit because our bodies can store up to like 20,000 calories worth of fat. That's a lot. Um, we have almost an endless supply of fat in our bodies versus carbs where our bodies can store only about 2,000 calories worth of carbs. So because of that, when you're using fat as fuel, you don't need to refuel as often. You don't. You can go a long period of time without feeling hungry, without having the highs and lows that you do with glucose because your body has so much fat to burn. Your body. So a lot of people find on the keto diet that they um, aren't as hungry. They don't have the crashes that you get with eating glucose and the high and low blood sugar spikes. Um, so 
that is one of the reasons why it's easy to lose weight because fat is so satiating and um, you don't get as hungry. Your cravings are gone and uh, it makes sense that that is the way to go. Hey guys, so it's breakfast time. I got bacon going for the fam bam. Um, I'm probably gonna have two strips of bacon myself. Um, maybe three, we'll see. I'm cracking some eggs, large eggs. These are from our chickens. You want the yolk and all. So I'll probably have three eggs this morning. I'm making some extra for the hubby because I'm so nice. Okay. I'm gonna stir that, grab that up. I top my breakfast with a little cheese on top of my eggs and then half an avocado and that'll be breakfast. So I'll let you know what the finished product looks like, guys. All right. Love them. They're made with almond farms and a regular flour, and they are three grams of net carbs, seven grams of protein, and really good for you. Yummy! Show the camera. head out to work but I wanted to show you what I'm bringing to eat with me um, I work at a very busy restaurant um, here in Lake County California my mom owns it and um, it's a busy little breakfast lunch place and on Sundays we're slammed and I don't have time to like like sit down and eat I don't like so I bring kind of some snacks with me just I'm bringing a quest bar um, this has one gram of sugar and only four grams of net carbs, 20 grams of protein. So good little meal bar here. And there is 200 calories in here. Um, and then I'm bringing these couple blueberry uh, muffin, keto muffins that I made a couple days ago. Um, these are like three grams of net carbs. Um, and these are really good. They're made with almond flour. And I'm bringing some avocado. I'll probably just cut this open, have a few bites or something, and that's gonna kind of get me through the day. I work until like about 1.30, so um, I should be able to make it on this stuff. And if I eat anything else, I'll let you know. But gonna head to work, and I'll catch you guys in a little Hey bit. guys, so just got off of work. It was insane today, like waiting list, super, super busy. So I only got to eat my Quest bar and I ate the blueberry muffin I brought so that's what I had for lunch but I'm actually not feeling hungry at all so I'm not gonna eat anymore I have to go take a history test and do some homework um, so I'll probably have some coffee and then get ready for dinner so been a crazy day not no my normal uh, eating and some days are like today are crazy and you don't get to eat what you planned on, but uh, that's part of life, so we'll adjust. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a few. Coffee is life. Coffee is life. Okay, that's good. Homework is not. I don't like homework. Pons are yummy and great source of fat. If you need some fat, eat some cons. So, I'm trying to get some more fats in here. I got a hundred percent on my history test. What what? What are you do what are you doing? Calling on the ground like a kitty cat or puppy or a kitty cat. Well we got basil pesto salmon cooking in the oven. And then I got some clarified butter in the pan. I'm gonna be putting once this cooks down, it's going to be about half a cup of spinach cooked in my butter. 
And then I'm gonna do one half of an avocado, and that's gonna be dinner. So part of the reason why I'm doing this seven day vlog is to teach you guys um, how to follow the ketogenic diet. And one thing that I have found is it's really important to track all your food throughout the day. Or even better is to log all the food you're gonna eat during the day in the morning or the night before. So that way you don't run into dinner go, you know, already over your protein or over your carbs and you can only eat fat. So it's really important to, to plan ahead. Today was one of those days where I did not have time to plan. Um, I had to work and it was super busy at work and I just never had time to like log in what I had already eaten so I didn't really know where I was at. So come four o'clock, I finally logged my food and I am like at my, my protein, like almost at my protein. I had already had my carbs and so I had a little bit of protein left and a lot of fat left. Okay, so what am I gonna do for dinner? So I have pesto salmon in the oven and so pesto has a lot of fat so that'll be good. The salmon meets my protein requirement. Um, I still need more fat, so I'm doing half an avocado, which is a good source of fat. And then I had to figure out how to get the rest of my fats in, so I said, okay, butter. Okay, what could I do with butter? Okay, spinach doesn't have a lot of carbs. Cooked spinach has less carbs, so I'm cooking spinach and butter. So I have my cooked spinach, <laughs> avocado, pesto, salmon. So sometimes you end up having kind of put this makeshift dinner together to meet your macros, but sometimes it works out fine. But a tip I have for you guys is to make sure that you plan ahead and log your foods ahead of time so that you don't run into these um, issues of only, have, only being able to eat fat for dinner. As you could see, I didn't quite meet my macros to a T. I went a little over on my carbs, um, on my net carbs by six grams, so not too bad. Um, fat was pretty in range and protein went over a little bit, but I think considering the busy day I had, we did pretty good. So thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos and to see the rest of my vlog on keto and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!